What's up, Fight Fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk. Get this, reports state that Fury Usyk targeted for February Super Bowl weekend in the Middle East, 50-50 per split is a given. Wow. The undisputed heavyweight championship could be or could benefit from a marketing boost being scheduled close to the biggest annual sporting event in America. According to Mike Kriegel of ESPN, the heavyweight title unification bout between the WBC champion Tyson Fury of England and the WBO, the WBA, the IBO, and the IBF champion from uh, Usyk from Ukraine may air on the same weekend or the week after of the NFL's 57th Super Bowl with the Middle East as the most likely location for the fight. Kriegel citing unnamed sources in conversation with Bob Arum and the head of he's the head of top rank, as we know, and he promotes Fury and sounded a note of optimism about the chances of seeing the historic matchup, especially because, according to Kriegel, there does not appear to be any disagreements uh, regarding the purse split for the fighters. An Usyk Fury fight would have be would have be would have to be televised on ESPN, and the network has an exclusive broadcasting arrangement with Top Rank. Quote, it's going to happen, Cregan said during Saturday's ESPN broadcast of the Jose Pedraza versus Richard Comey lightweight bout. How do I know this? What's the source of contention in the lead up to the every big fight? The purse split. It's a 70-30, 60-40. This is going to be 50-50. I spoke to Bob Arum today. He said that is a given. My sources agree. So we have one point of contention completely out of the way, supposedly. The welcome news, that's welcome news. Proof to me that the fight is going to happen. Now, as to when Kriegel commented, you may have to see reports this weekend that the Saudis want to host it in December. Don't hold your breath on that quote. Highly unlikely, according to Aram and others that I spoke to. Likely date now, February Super Bowl weekend or maybe a well, week after, probably the Middle East but not necessarily Saudi Arabia. Remember, there's no Abu Dhabi could be a player. Qatar could be a player and still outside shot to the UK gets it. Let me counterpunch. Inside sources, sources, sources. What do they really mean? Some are more valid than others. But regardless of the source and regardless of where it comes from, it's not set in stone. Why? It's all on Fury. It has nothing to do with Usyk at all. I don't see any hang up on Usyk's end. Usyk wants to fight for Undisputed. Tyson Fury just really just wants to fight. I don't know. I guess for money. Because that's the only thing that I see. You know, we've heard the Spartan and, you know, Josh was the businessman and I'm the Spartan, but now you said you're going to come back. If you come back, it's going to cost you. You better get your checkbook ready. Okay, those are contradicting things, as we know. So understand something. It's all up to Tyson Fury. It's up to Tyson Fury on how he feels about that, that particular day he decides to sign or not. Okay? See, hopefully you can, you know, is can you count on Tyson Fury? You know, because there's a lot of fights that he could have made and he didn't. I mean, let's be real. I mean, failed attempts with Dillian White, Anthony Joshua, Alexander Usyk, Deontay Wilder. These are all fights that fell through. Okay, and a lot of people don't know a lot of negotiating things. And Fury turned down a lot of fights. He could have fought Tony Bellew before. He could have fought David Hay. He could have fought Dillian White earlier, much earlier. When Dillian White was actually a lot better than he is now, I feel. You know, the Anthony Joshua fight, he turned that down. And then he'll turn around, spin the narrative, call you a ducker. And that's what happened to Tyson Fury. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this to let you guys know that regardless of this article, that reports of Fury versus Usyk and Bob Arum saying this and Frank Warren saying that, it doesn't really matter because it's up to Tyson Fury at the, at the end of the day. Will he take what they're paying him? It's not going to be 500 million. But if 500 million is his 
deal breaker. We not we're not going to see this fight and anybody that with common sense knows that. But also, if you know that, you also know Tyson Fury is not interested in fighting Alexander Usyk. OK, and if he really if he's really worried about losing an O and he looks at a guy that's that type of style, he may have some type of fear, may or may not. I'm not sure. But there is a reason why you would want to stakes or want to fight someone for that amount of money. Let me give you a perfect example. I believe that Manny Pacquiao had had his doubts and his concerns about Terrence Crawford. That's why he asked for $20 million to fight Terrence Crawford. You see what I mean? You don't ask for that type of money if you were, you know, like you need something that's going to last you in case this dude knocks you out or defeats you, beats you, you know? So I think that's what, that may be Tyson Fury's problem. You know, I, I'm not really sure, but... According to Bob or Frank, hopefully they've heard something from Team Fury that give them optimism about the 50-50 split. You know, so that's a good thing, at least, at least. Because when you hear Bob Aaron, that fight's not going to happen. I talked to Frank Warren. He talked to Tyson. Tyson's retired unless it's 500 million. He says a half a billion, that means a half a billion dollars that we don't have to give the bastard. He's retired. Leave Tyson Fury alone. He's gone. Bars. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that sounds good. I hope it's good. I hope, you know, I want to stay optimistic about it. But then, you know, we just have to listen to the everyday changing news of Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of the Fury Usyk fight targeted for February around the Super Bowl weekend. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.